Hey guys, what's up? We are live backstage at TechCrunch Disrupt. I am joined by John Collison, who's Stripe co-founder and president. What's up, dude? Hey guys. I'm magic, if you didn't notice. I actually just beamed myself beamed up here. Beamed yourself into the studio, I know that was good. So you fix payments, I'll fix teleportation, and we'll be good to go. I think your problem is maybe more valuable. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. The payments is pretty valuable, actually, as well. I shouldn't uh, sound Stripe short. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. So, okay, like for the people who aren't as smart as us and they don't pay attention, why don't you explain what Stripe is all about? Sure. So we're building um, payments infrastructure for the web. Uh, that means if you're building a site or a mobile app, we make it easier to accept credit card payments. Uh, and before Stripe, you would have had to use the whole legacy system of merchant banks and processors. Uh, it was slow, it was clunky, people often didn't bother. Uh, with Stripe, we're building it from the ground up for the web, so we do all the heavy lifting in the background and just give people the product they want to use. Well, I've heard a lot of people clamoring for Stripe. I remember like a year ago when we were doing Disrupt New York, mm -hmm. when we were trying to figure out all those companies, we had a bunch of Battlefield applicants who were like, oh, well, if we can get on you know, Stripe's waiting list, then we'll be okay. <laughs> you know, like, uh, how is that going? I mean, is there mm -hmm. still huge demand? Is the waiting list cleared? Or? Yeah, so, so when we were developing it, um, when we were developing Stripe, we had a, a, a fairly long waiting list because we didn't want to onboard too many users at once. We launched publicly in September 2011, and now, uh, you know, now the list of, or the number of people using it has gotten pretty big. Like, there are thousands of businesses built on Stripe today. They're doing, in, in aggregate, millions of dollars a day. Uh, we have really cool companies. You know, we have startups like, you know, talking about mobile companies like Lyft, Order Ahead, Sidecar, wow. Postmates, Exec, Sesame, all these really cool uh, companies using Stripe, but also bigger companies like you have Walmart Labs, NBC, Rackspace, Millennial Media, all these folks as well using it for their for payments technology. That's really interesting. So what like, <clears throat> I mean, do you have any like data or any kind of feedback on what the difference is? Because you guys really have revolutionized something. I mean, for a developer, it's not just being able to get paid mm -hmm. and something that you might not have bothered with, but it's the time saved and building all of that stuff out. I it, mean, it's, it's not only that, it's the time saved and the kind of things you can build. What we want to do is uh, let people uh, build really interesting payments products. And we don't think we've, like, the, the, you know, we're just starting to see the kind of things that can be built. Uh, you look at the explosion of mobile apps right now, we're still not done. Like the, the, the amount of time spent on mobile apps is still increasing. You know, connectivity speeds doubled globally last year. Uh, the number of smartphones is only one billion out of five billion phones total. Uh, and so I think we're still seeing just like a lot of growth in connectivity and people spending time online generally. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is uh, let people build all the kinds of uh, products and services that uh, that should exist and give them the flexibility to do that. So we give them the basic building blocks, we give people the levers, uh, we let people do things around payments, you know, storing credit cards, charging cards, paying money out, uh, and then the kinds of things they can build, as you can imagine, it's, it's, it's a massive variety. And so we work with lots of interesting companies, like I mentioned, these kind of ride-sharing apps, uh, where you're billed, you, you know, in your pocket uh, without ever taking your phone out, which is kind of exciting. Cool. Okay, so you're like 22 years old. Mm -hmm. I think you're the only person here that's younger than me. You're like <laughs> the little babies in here. Right, right, right. But okay, so what I want to ask you about is you know who Barry Diller is, right? With Aereo. Okay, so Barry Diller is a big media mogul, and he invested in the company Aereo, who does live streaming I see. TV. And he was actually the one who took Fox and made them a broadcast network for mm -hmm. free over the air. And then 20 years later, he funded Aereo, who now uses those free over-the-air. Yeah, yeah. So he's piggybacking on his own innovation. Mm -hmm. And I remember you telling me that you know you you built Stripe because you were playing with other stuff and mobile payments sucked, mm -hmm. or, or just payments, yeah, exactly. credit card payments sucked. It's not just mobile payments, right? Exactly. So, <clears throat> I mean, what what if if let's say Stripe just keeps growing and, yeah. and is the best and blah blah blah, and you get kind of bored and you want to do something else? What <laughs> is your what is your piggyback in it? Like once payments is fixed. Well, I, what I think, would you build? I think payments is, is reasonably big, and the kinds of problems we're interested in are one continuously uh, lowering the barriers to to creating things online. Like I think one of the interesting patterns we're seeing is uh, marketplaces emerging and making mm. it easier for you to start selling. You know, you have companies. Um, that uh, are not kind of directly managing the full stack themselves, but instead enable people to, to, to connect with each other. You know, you look at a company like Shoptiques, um, who are actually based right here in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so I think there are, commerce isn't played out, right? right. Uh, and the, the other aspect is like, uh, we have a pretty good here in the US. Uh, I think globally, businesses in you know, Ireland or South Africa or Pakistan or wherever, uh, 
for a business there, being able to easily trade with uh, anyone in any other country, that's a pretty exciting place to get to, and the world is pretty clearly not there yet. Right, so is that, that's the plan right now. I mean, what is Stripe like working on? You leave Disrupt, what do you go do right now? Uh, w one of the big things we're working on is um, is launching for, for businesses in other countries. Uh, so, you know, right now you in the U.S. can collect money from all over the world, but if you're if you're a business in another country, um, you need to be based in one of a few s select set of countries. So we launched Canada last fall. We're in private beta in the U.K. right now and hope to have that out shortly. Uh, and we're working on a bunch more countries internally. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. That was great to be here. Awesome.